guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber Fossum Kyojin and today we're back with you for Viv Vinland Saga. <laughs> I would say Vinking Valhalla. Yeah. Wrong show. Vinland Saga season 2 episode 6. Understandably, we can get mixed up because last episode was all about Canute and how he became the true king of England. Mm which is covered in Vikings Valhalla. Yeah. So, yeah, we caught up with Canute. Uh, he's been trying to settle a rebellion in his, in his kingdom because when his father died, some of the Saxons and stuff started to be like, well, I mean, we want things to go back the way they were. And Ethelred, the previous king, came back too Maybe and like resumed that. his reign. So um, he came back, uh, well, he came back, he traveled to Mercia and yeah. he basically showed the Earl there that I'm the boss. <laughs> he's the boss. And Thorkel was telling him that you're no one, right? You haven't achieved anything. And I guess he wanted to tell him you're not ruthless enough. Like you need to do more in order for people to follow you and respect you and stuff. And Canute, I don't think he likes war. He doesn't like needless death. Mm. So he did things his own way, but that doesn't mean he wasn't willing to go where it needed, where he needed if others kept rebelling, right? So he showed the Earl he was willing to burn Mercia to the ground if he didn't follow Canute. He did use not honorably way of killing his opponent, like well, he convinced Ethelred. He convinced people that were close to Ethelred and his son Edmund to basically murder them, right? Like poison them or you know get them healed and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they died naturally with Un Ill through illness. Unnaturally death by illness. Well, in any case, we know who's behind it. And uh, it took three years for him to be crowned again King of England, something that his father did in 10 years. So you might not agree with his ways and you might not respect him because he's not a true warrior, but he gets shit done, for sure. The cat wants attention, sorry. <laughs> so this is where we are. We might go back to Thorfinn and Einar. Technically we've jumped two years in the future. So we might have an actual time skip with Thorfinn as well. So I'm excited to see where we are and what happens next. Let's jump in this episode and find out. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full length reactions. All right, let's go. We need a horse. Apparently they need a horse. <laughs> no! <gasps> okay. My lunch. They were not stuck. You can do this. Come on, my man. Yeah, they do need a horse. Maybe two. Hey, Nara, wait. I'm going to get a little bit of a horse. I'm still not going to get a horse. They're doing the thing. It's nice yeah. to sing Thorfinn. Talking. Well, oh. some, some time passed, I guess. Yeah. Adversity. The two of them against everything else. Mm. It's a metaphor for their situation, but they'll manage. That's a huge ass tree. Oh, they're talking about the horse. It's not just for them. The big boss gave them that job. Oh, they are fighting against a tree trunk, but an, an actual like metaphorical tree trunk whose which the roots have gone so deep it's it's almost impossible yeah. to take care of it. It's not your fucking decision. Oh, bitch. <laughs> I am Anar, all the way. Maybe that is the point? That they'll never manage? Yeah. You give up too easily, man. <laughs> yes. Say it again. 
We need a damn horse! I think it's just, Thorfinn has accepted a situation, so for him it's hard to, mm. to push. Like, this could be them if they don't hurry. Maybe this is them. Like, who's to say he didn't, you know, lay down all the trees that were here and now he's mm. farming? I mean, just like that? Why not? <laughs> He's so motivated. Who is that guy, though? Who are you? <laughs> Thorfinn never complains. <laughs> あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
ここに一台あってよかったよ。追加してくんないもんな。クワで同じように耕すのは。こいつの馬があるとないとじゃ大違いだよ。Basically the same thing with Kenut and his father. What can take ten years? It's gonna take them three if you do it intelligently. Yeah. 大変さをよく知ってる人じゃないと、こうは作れないよ。本当に野良仕事を知らないな。何でも新鮮。Good thing is gonna learn that. 赤ん坊みたいだぞ。<笑> well, he is a baby when it comes to life. Yeah. Outside of the battlefield. Ask him how to kill a man. Gonna give you a hundred different ways to do it. わしは父さんの体を心配してるんだ。年じゃないんだ。Well, good thing he has thought in and、uh, hey, now then. 力仕事もできんだろう。いらん世話じゃ。なんとか。He reminds me of our granddad. It's an old mentality, but that when there's work to be done, you need to do it, right? Well, do you want him to stop working that much or not? Then he gave, he gave some of his values to his son because even though he has all that money, he still works with the people. ヘリだ。ヘリがいる。いや。あの雰囲気でグーグー寝てたんか。どういう神経してんだ。おはようございます。飯時にだけ起きてきよ。よくも堂々と飯が食えるもんじゃな。That's work. Nani's in there. Meshi mother doro. Those expressions. They are slaves. They don't see it that way. It's about work. You work and you get what you deserve after the work. From the work. That's what you want. He's about doing the things himself. In a way, Snake is trying to convince him of what his own son is saying to him. There's stuff you can't do. ハッカすんなよ。また倒れるぞ。この農場の戦力は規模に釣り合ってねえんだよ。5、60人も兵隊がいりゃ。なあ、トルフィン。I with all the money, all the equipment. This is where I guess their values and, and opinions change. Because people are going to be envious of your wealth. I want to take it for themselves. I'm liking I'm liking Snake. I like him too. Okay, you're going to go. It is nice to help create something instead of just destroying it, right? Where do you put value? What's enough? Money, is the question. land, influence. What do you need to be happy? Mm -hmm. We're getting there! They got beards! After all this time, we were never friends. Everything we shared, he just he's never thought about it. But yeah, you are. Yeah, 友達だ. Oh, we got there. 
It took some time, but we Our got there. Our first real friend. Yes. <laughs> Not someone that we trauma bound with some over something. Our boy is finally, finally starting mm. to live. Anar is right. Thorfinn is a baby when it comes to Overgrown life. Overgrown baby. He, but he knows everything about war, about mm. fighting, right? Ask him anything else. Survival, like outside, how to farm, how to have friends, how to entertain how people. How to socialize. Yes, he doesn't know anything about life. He knows any, everything about death, but he's a baby when it comes to everything else. So Einar is a godsend when it comes to this, right? He's teaching him and he's... But it's also He's the fact that since Aina has this goal in mind to get his freedom, anything is possible for him to achieve it. He, he, he needs a horse, he's gonna get a horse. You can uh, ready the field for your crop, you get, he's gonna ready his field for his crops. Well, I think it's more that he's in a hurry to be free, right? Because he's looking forward to that. Where I, whereas Thorfinn has accepted that this is his life now. Like, he, he was, I said it before, but he was stuck in limbo. He's drowned already and he kind of gave up, right? He's like, okay, this is my new reality. Mm -hmm. There's no, like, if death comes to me, I don't give a shit because I have no, I don't enjoy living anymore. Yeah. But he doesn't care enough to end it, right? He's just going with the flow. He's been... Uh, conditioned so he does his job he never complains it's not about him but Einar wants out of this situation he's got something to look forward to so if it's difficult to do the job he's gonna try to find a way to do it like he's gonna try and then hurry things up he's got a, a goal in mind whereas mm -hmm. Thorfinn is just like well my job is to do this I don't have the tools I don't want to complain, like there's no reason to, there's no point. Mm -hmm. So I'll just try to push and if I don't do it, if I can't do it, so what? Because he's not necessarily looking forward to his liberation. I don't think he ever truly thought he could be free. Like he never mm -hmm. thought this could actually be done. But so, thanks to Einar, he can slowly see that I might be able to achieve my freedom. Einar is creating this with him, right? He's mm. showing him that the both of them can make something out of that wasteland. They don't have to destroy it, they can create. And the reality of we could be free one day is now exists for Thorfinn too. We'll get that smile one day, but we're getting there. I mean, <laughs> at the end of that episode, they were... They, they were, were yeah. The, the crumbs, they were... Uh, they got like there, something. yes. It's not just... It's not your your eternity, Maybe Thorfinn. He's, leave he's, the camera yeah, alone, please. Just move a little bit. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry. For Thorfinn, it was the way things were, and that's it. But that, that situation is not your eternity. It's a temporary thing because you were lucky enough to end up with a master who gave you a chance. A master whose you know, morals, basically the way I see it, it literally, literally sounds like our grandpa, our father, and then us. Yeah. Like it's it's crazy how similar this is, but it's generational change and and, and yeah. The I mean, the granddad, our... the grandpa in this mm -hmm. basically works for what he gets, right? He needs food to survive, he needs wood to keep himself warm. It's basic survival. So he'll do the work, he'll get the rewards from his own work, and he'll sustain himself through his own means. That's all he needs, so that's all he'll do. Right? And it's it's intense work, but he'll do it because it's necessary for his own survival. It is really like her grandpa or dad. It or literally himself. is. Our grandpa went like retired and he kept working. He was and born when our at father home. our father bought his garage. My grandpa bought a uh, built a garage. He and, built his own yeah. business basically. And my dad bought the garage and when my grandpa retired he tried to come back to the garage to it, do the finances. It, he came back. And my father pushed him out. He was like, dude, you're retired. Go home. <laughs> and then when that didn't work, my grandpa bought a land and he started just cutting woods and he built another garage in the woods. <laughs> That's true. And he started making maple syrup and all of that. Like, he never stopped working. When his body failed him, he never stopped working. He even put, you know, got himself in trouble because he was, he was out there doing his thing. And I guess this, it's the same with this guy. He doesn't want to, you know, get wealthy enough. Like sometimes, like our father's generation, or in this case, uh, their master's generation, they understand the value of work 
And if yeah. there's work to be done, they'll do it. But they also understand that there's something to be gained mm -hmm. from that work. For the father, the grandpa, it's basically, I need food, warmth, uh, uh, a roof over my head. So that, that's what I'll work towards. And that's But enough for me. I, yeah. don't, I don't need more to, uh, to be happy. I just need what I need to just basically live. Yeah, yeah. But his son, what's his name again? I, I, can't, I can't forget. Kettle. Kettle, yeah. Kettle. 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 Anyway, him. He is of the sort that basically understands, okay, if I work hard and then I can pay others to work for me or with me in this case, because he also values work. I'm going to have what I need and then more. Yeah, he'll keep expending. Unfortunately, for some people, this is also a, this is a wheel that never stops turning because I've heard someone say, like, when you get rich, it never stops, right? You never really get to a point where you're satisfied because the more money you get, the, the more, more you want more yeah. for safety, right? You, you'll feel like you need more all the time, so you'll never stop. So in this case, Kettle has everything he needs and a lot more, but he, he'll never stop because he, he tries to expand. For his father, what's the point of having a farm so big you can't even defend it yourself? Because everything is about... If I can do it, I, I need to be able to do it, right? It's all about, I need to do the work. Kettle is not above. Dude, you need to go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Say Ket hello. <laughs> Kettle is not above <laughs> hiring other people to yeah. do the job because he also understands. And, and I think that's what he's trying to make his father understand. Sometimes you can't do the work. Sometimes you don't have the skills. Sometimes you don't have the strength. It's okay to delegate. But his father truly is, if you can't do the work, you don't deserve the rewards, hmm. right? So his, his kettle, I guess, he doesn't, res he doesn't like the way he does things because he's got to a point where he can't do the work. He has to hire other people. He's, he has to buy slaves. Mm -hmm. He also gives, uh, he gives the slaves a chance to do exactly like he did. Build it up. I'm giving you a chance because I was given a chance, maybe. And I'm giving you that chance. And if you manage to make something out of it, you'll be able to buy your freedom, which is, which is great. But, uh, and then you got, you know, uh, the retainers who, because of other people who basically did the work before them and, and they grew this, this they enterprise. Don't want, they don't want to do the work, but they want to have the rewards of the work. Kind of like, yeah, kind of Kittle's son, right? Mm -hmm. Who want to be their own person and they don't necessarily want to do the work because why not? Like they have the money already, they have the opportunity already. So wh what's the point? So it's generational change. You know what? It kind of reminds what we saw in the previous episode with Canute, and the difference being to have a um, honorable fight versus what you need to do to achieve your goal in the long run. Uh, what we just saw with Kettle's father. He's a honorable man, he do honorable work. Maybe he sees it as dishonorable to pay other people to do the, the, the job when it's for him, right? I get the rewards, I should be the one doing the work. Okay, close enough, Let's it's fine. With that. <laughs> Let's go with it, yeah. <laughs> well, so it's dishonorable maybe for him to hire other people when he should be able to do it himself. Whereas Kettle is not above that. Like he, he has a big enterprise, he needs it and he needs other people to make it work. So I'm, I'm more on Kettle's side, honestly. Like, I'm glad he goes out in the field. Like, he has not taken his money for granted. He's like, yes, I make a lot of money. I can afford all these things, but I still go out there and I work with my people because mm -hmm. I value work. His son gets all the rewards and he doesn't care about the work. That's where there's a problem for me. But, but there's also something great to learn from the grandpa. It's kind of like um, uh, Thorfinn learned something about how too much wealth is not necessarily a good thing, right? You can be content with little things that you earn for yourself. Freedom is a big thing, but in this case, like if you do this job, you earn yourself your freedom, you're not gonna be rich, you're not gonna be known, you're not gonna be like Kettle, but you'll have earned this for yourself. Mm -hmm. There is value, like basically put value in the work that you do because the rewards that you get from this is great. Like it's fulfilling. It's, it's what life is about, and you should not necessarily aim for all the stuff that you don't have. It's not about wishing, kind of like the retainers, they're angry that they're not as rich as Kettle, right? They'll always be angry, as long as they don't let go of that. It's not about the wealth you don't have, it's about, it's about what you manage to work for, what you manage to gain from your own work. But for that, you that. need to put 
the work into it. Oh, the, I mean, the rich hires, I'm guessing, do work. It's just that they're pissed that they're not getting as much as Keto. But he put in the work enough that now he can pay for other people mm -hmm. to work with him. And I guess the value behind this, like the, the, the message behind this is that you don't have to always look at a big picture. You can be content with the small things. I mean, Thorfinn should have been content with going back to his family and having his mom and his sister still alive, right? But he tried to achieve greatness, make his father proud, like avenge his dad. Like it's all about think, those big things. I don't think that things. he tried to achieve he did greatness. Say, he, well, he did but say he wanted to. Sh he wanted to avenge his father, yeah. and he kind of wanted to put to rest. Like he, he had a disconnection when it came to what it meant to be a warrior because he saw his father and the way he did things, and he he didn't agree with what his father did, which was to put down the weapons and stop fighting. So he was trying to, I guess he was trying to be a, indirectly he was trying to be a bigger, better man than his dad, but that's because he didn't understand the, the things his father valued, right? The little things sometimes. Like mm -hmm. it's not about, when he was a kid, he valued those great tales of, of heroes and, and uh, Vikings and all of that. Like he wanted to be one of them. And he kind of, he didn't understand why his father was content with his little house with his little family in in this plot of land, right? Sometimes it's about the little things, what you work for and what you gain from what you've worked for. And now he's got nothing. So honestly, even the little things will make will make him content if he allows himself to feel this what I this mean, happiness. When you think about it, Thorfinn's father was truly free in his way of life. Because we've talked a lot of them in the first season that everybody could be a slave to something. Maybe because you're being owned by someone. Well, you're a slave to your addiction to fight, to richness. You could be a slave to your wealth. Because mm. the more you get it, the more you feel like you need more. You're also a slave of that system. Yeah. Right? There's good and bad to both lifestyle. I guess like the grandpa is putting himself through hell and he's hurting his body and stuff. So in a way, I kind of like, like I said, I like Kettle's way of seeing things, but I also understand what the grandpa meant. I, I forgot his name, by the way. We keep saying grandpa. <laughs> I'm sorry. But right now, considering master. considering where Einar and Thorfinn are, Einar is giving Thorfinn that goal, like that, that excitement for something, because there's going to be a reward at the end of it, something that you'll earn, something that's not necessarily the end of all your troubles, but something that will mean the world to you because it's yours, right? You achieve that and from there you do whatever. So value that, put your put the work into it, stop just giving up and not being excited over the, the, the things that you achieve. Like be happy and keep working for the future because yeah, you have a great reward coming for you. He's learning how to live, man. But I think that once Tuffin finds a new goal for himself, that motivation flame and him would just light up again it's gonna be but that's it's gonna tr try anything to achieve well it's it. true that like if anar had like once you're free what do you do with that freedom if he has no goal i can understand why he has no motivation like it, there's not going to be a change from then to now or now to then right currently he's a slave and he does the work he's got a job to do it's like if you tell someone do this every day he's got a purpose but then if you're not there to tell him what to do he's gonna just be like what do i do with my life but like i said you can enjoy the little things so maybe you'll start looking at what he has still mom sister uh his town um vinland is another thing it's a purpose it's a, it's a it's a dream you can have and maybe you can content yourself with that and aim for those rewards mm. hmm Oh, yeah, maybe. it's a discussion. <laughs> In any case, that's going to be it for today. Uh, we're going to give food to our cat because I don't know what's going on with him. But I think he's, he's just, I think he's dead. He's needy. He's uh, like this on the floor. <laughs> he does that when he wants our attention, though. So he's being cute. We'll focus on him a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next episode right away, it is on Patreon already. You can check it out. The link is in the description below. And if you don't, the next one will be on YouTube next week. So we're going to see you then, guys. Bye. <laughs> Cat again. <laughs>